Crazy pixel. Hey, who's there? D don't come any closer. I'm armed. Taking something as familiar as the RPG genre and making it your own seems like a scary undertaking. While fans demand the familiar, they also want new ideas, so finding a balance between the two is crucial for a new IP to consider. Developer Axe Studios' newest RPG takes everything I knew about the RPG genre, added in some stereotypes of people I met in college, and presented a great new adventure. My name is Brian Lee, and this is Noisy Pixels Review for Y2K, a postmodern RPG. Y2K, a postmodern RPG, begins by introducing the player to Alex, a recent college graduate who carries the hipster title proudly. After returning home, Alex witnesses a strange-looking cat that he just has to follow. Similar to Alice following the White Rabbit into Wonderland, Alex's pursuit leads him into a strange new world. Together with his friends, Alex seeks to solve the mysteries brought about by his freaky discovery. Y2K, a postmodern RPG, can get weird, but that just complements the game's overall appeal. As the player, I enjoyed how Alex and I were exploring this crazy new world together, so that his reactions to events mirrored mine, and I felt more invested because of it. Alex's relationship with his friends is also something that I enjoyed. It was great seeing them discuss things that real friends talk about, while cracking jokes and talking about music, games, and anime that they like. The aesthetic for Y2K, a postmodern RPG, is a retro art style reminiscent of Earthbound, with a more modern flair and it works surprisingly well. The music in the game also complements the overall theme, and I found it easy to immerse myself in this insane new world. Y2K, a postmodern RPG, has a turn-based battle system with a few unique twists. Characters each have their standard stats, but the game borrows interactive systems found in other titles where you inflict damage through minigames. Any action requires a minigame to play through, which will increase the effectiveness of the action. This does add a layer of challenge to the game, because the better you are at these games, the easier the battle will be, but you won't always be successful, and that's something you'll need a plan for. While exploring the environments, the player will interact with puzzles that can progress the narrative. Although most puzzles work decently, some mechanics had me frustrated due to the clunky nature of them. One particular moment had me throw a cat to hit a switch, however getting this to actually work was another story, and there were several puzzles similar to this. Even though eventually I got through these puzzles, some moments left me dreading other puzzles like them. In the end, I can easily look past these flaws because Y2K, a postmodern RPG, provides a well-balanced and exciting new take on the RPG genre that I hadn't experienced yet. The game is perfect for RPG fans who enjoy these unique approaches to design from developers willing to step outside of the box. Noisy Pixel is giving Y2K, a postmodern RPG, an 8.5 out of 10. It's a really good game, and I think it's worth checking out. As always, thank you for tuning into the review. For more gaming news, reviews, previews, and all that good stuff, head on down to noisypixel.net. And also be sure to follow us on Twitter at NoisyPixelNews. Additionally, be sure to check out our podcast, The Noisy Pixel Podcast, over on Spotify, Google Play, and iTunes. It's a weekly podcast posted every Saturday where the Noisy Pixel crew gets together to talk about games.